Filthy Business is about three generations of a very volatile, very close-knit family trying to get along and run this business. Ryan Craig, the writer, has written a, a really, really dark family comedy, but because it's so dark and it's so accurately observed, and I have to say semi-autobiographical on Ryan's part, it's very, very funny. I've created a dramatic fiction out of stories and people that I knew, and I've tried to write them as truthfully as I could. And what's happened as a net effect of that, as a byproduct, is it's become funny. I wanted to be part of the production for a number of reasons, really. I mean, first of all, I was very much drawn to it as a piece of writing. I wanted to work with Ed for a very long time. It had all the right ingredients. Well, I saw Sarah Kesselman in 4,000 Miles, which was a play at the print room, and uh, I was blown away by her. So when Ed said, what about Sarah for this part? I thought, yeah, that's our, that's our Yetta. I mean, it just made perfect sense to me. When I met Sarah Kesselman and started to discuss the play with her, I realized she, she had roots in her past, I think, that got her very close to that experience um, that a lot of Jewish people had in that period when they were being persecuted and they had to flee from their homes and families. This story of, that she tells, that Yetta tells, is a story that one hears from many, many, many people and from many accounts of fleeing with, sometimes with a little bit of money or almost no money at all. Sometimes people gave money thinking that they were going to be ending up in America and actually finding out that they were, you know, Tilbury Docks or in Liverpool or wherever it was, you know, people turning up in different places. And my grandfather certainly had that experience. So it's my favourite kind of play, really, and it's built on very, very serious, deep and, and important social themes and issues. But within that, Ryan has managed to write um, a rip-roaring comedy that has its horizons very, very broad in terms of describing the British experience in late 60s Britain. There's a lot of punch-ups, there's a lot of language, there's a lot of what my mum would call smut. And I think that it's, it's gonna be a, a real feast for the senses.